So I got these Pokemon cookies from a place that I went to the other day, and they, I was like, oh, these are gonna probably be not so good. But they're actually pretty good. I can't open this bag with one hand. I'm struggling. Here, just, yeah, pull, pull them all out, because all the wrappers and stuff are different. Oh, sorry, did you want to keep them? No, 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 okay. I'm good. So, yeah. Oh, look at the smallest! There, oh, look at the Spragatino! There were starters in here, but like, I went ham. These are really, really good. It's yeah, really go ahead, grab. I'm getting, I'm getting the little. You're getting the small one? Alright, Judy, which one are you mm -hmm. eating? They, they're all the same flavor, I believe. They're just all like chocolate cookie flavor. Pocket monsters. Smallest. Little chocolate soft candy. That Pokemon's super, super tiny in the game. This one? Yeah. Pommy? Yeah. yeah. Fru Fruta. It's bigger than I thought. It's like a little cookie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Show the camera. Cheers. There you go. Cookie cheers. <laughs> Alright. Oh. What do you think? Oh. Actually pretty good, huh? It's like a brownie. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> pretty good. So, you guys oh, may look. see this in the video, but I'm gonna try mm -hmm. to convince Mr. Mills here f to carry him in the store. There's, um, like chocolate chunks in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. They're pretty freaking good. I think each yeah. pack has like 12 in them. So. Yeah, cool. substantial. We'll see if they're <laughs> substantial. One of our I'm I'm quite soon. filled after yeah. that. I'm satiated. <laughs> <laughs> we got these cool N64 games here. We got Banjo Kazooie, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, WWF No Mercy, Goldeneye, Pokemon Stadium, Super Smash Brothers, Banjo Kazooie, Super Mario 64, Banjo Tooie, Ocarina of Time, Conker's Bed Fur Day, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Rugrats, Star Wars Pod Racer and Mario Kart 64. And we also got this beautiful, beautiful Aqua Blue N64 with the expansion pack. This will have to be cleaned up and tested. Um, looks like the stick may need a replacement, but overall, very, very, very cool piece. And yeah, can't go wrong with the fantastic N64 line. Always cool to see those, especially with their matching controller. We also got some stuff in this bucket. We got Mario Party 5, Super Monkey Ball, Crazy Taxi, Super Mario Sunshine, and Godzilla. We got Rune Factory 4 on 3DS, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Capcom's Classic Collection Reloaded, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Sushi Striker, Katamari Damacy Reroll, Monster Hunter Rise, Medal of Honor, uh, X-Men The Official Game, I don't know if this one's Wolverine, I think this is just 3. Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, Donkey Konga, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Dot Hat, Last Recode, Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, and Monster Hunter World. We also got a bunch of goodies in this box. We got a Cheers of the Kingdom controller. This is a Japanese one. We got some NES stuff. We got Friday the 13th, Bart vs. Space Mutants, uh, Bart vs. the World, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Super Mario 3, Tecmo Bowl, Adventures of Link, another copy of Adventures of Link. We also got Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, F-Zero, Super Mario All-Stars. Some of the coolest ones we got, some Saturn stuff. We got Sonic 3D Blast. We got Knights. We got Mystaria. All in pretty good, pretty good shape. So we're going to be, uh, Jorge's going to be demonstrating the two different versions of Tetris to you. This is the normal version so that was released in Japan. The normal version that was released in Japan, as you can see, the music is the iconic music. Played on Max Difficult. Oh, now we're going to be here all day. Not if I can open it. <laughs> <laughs> Intentional throwing. I love this remix. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you use, you use 360 no, no scope that Tetramino? <laughs> Yo, rotate that one. Quick, quick, quick! <laughs> Tetris, Tetris players, take notes, take notes. <laughs> That's what I just leave it Look at this, the face of focus. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 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 
so it's a little uh, hard to tell, but basically if this is pointing to the LL like this, or if it's under, it's under the L's marble? Yeah, the little ball on the steeple. If it's like kind of right beneath the two L's and like, you know, right underneath them. So this is what it normally looks like. The ball is like over to the right of the two L's. If you can see it on the steeple, the top ball. Oh my God, it won't focus. Yeah. You can notice if you look, a lot of Game Boy games, well, pretty much all of them, they have an etched in, it's also going to be hard to see on the camera, but an etched in code of like, like this one only has two digits. Usually it's like a letter, two letters or two numbers or a letter and a number. The original Minuet version is only the two numbers. And the revision that take away this song uh, has an A afterwards. So it's the two numbers and then an A. There you go. It's a cube. Oh. 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 Are, are we ready to hear the uh, the new jam? <gasps> wow. Minuet Tetris. Wow. All right, give us a test drive. I was. <laughs> now the trick to this one is to actually play correctly yeah which you can only do on the minuet version yeah uh, you can't actually play correctly on original tetris now there is a style point system in tetris so if you rotate it enough it will count as a kickflip yeah that's minuet tetris awesome. what, what, do, what do you think i've never experienced this before in my life and I love every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some new games in. We got uh, We Heart Katamari, Rewall. We got Dredge. We got Gal Guardians Demon Purge, two copies. We got uh, Grim War once more. We got Fight Crab, which has the best cover art, and it is indeed Shella awesome. We got more copies of Metroid Prime Remaster, Dokapon Kingdom. Uh, Mighty Goose. It's an interesting looking one. It's a limited run game. Celeste. Don't know why it's labeled as pre-owned. It's brand new. And Ghost Trick. We got all these 3DS games in here as well as some loose games. So we'll show those first. But we got a DSi action replay. Uh, Link Between Worlds. Pokemon Sun. And... Oh gosh, we can't see the last one. That are live dimensions. That's actually a pretty uncommon game. Used to be pretty common to find, now it's uncommon. Uh, and then we got Pokemon X, Pokemon Sun, this one's brand new, Pokemon Moon, Super Mario Maker, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black, Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon Diamond, and then we got some Switch. We got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Didn't even know that came to Switch. We got Splatoon 2, Engineric Case, Skyrim, Pokemon Sword, Bayonetta 2. This game's still expensive. How much is this game now? It's still $49.99. This game was real uncommon for a, a little bit. Uh, Crash Team Racing and Insane Trilogy. And then we got Alpha Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire. We got this really pretty... Uh, new 3DS with the black Mario faceplates. This was a, I believe, a Black Friday exclusive. Um, I want to say it was sold at, I know for sure, Walmart, and then there's a handful of other stores that you could get it. The screen is overall in good shape. Doesn't look like there's any deep scratching. We also got the Solgaleo Lunala new 3DS XL. It's got a kind of a big scratch on the back, but Let's take a look on that inside, crack this baby open, and it looks pretty good. So I'll put this little guy back in there, and then here's something you don't see a lot. This is a DSi XL. This is a European exclusive color. I don't know what the color is called, but it is indeed blue. And on the inside, it is the pretty blue as well. And yeah, cool trade. We got Pokemon games in, replaced batteries, Emerald has finally come down in price. There's all of those. And then we've got some more Japanese ones that the batteries have all been replaced so they should all save. So if you guys want some Pokemon games, we actually do have some in, which is a uncommon occurrence. We also got this pretty rare uh, 
Bomberman Quest game. No idea what it's about, but it, we just put it out today on the 14th. And it's got a new save battery. I'm not sure which staff member did this, but somebody put plushies by like games that are related to them. Look at how freaking cute these are. Here's Mario and Luigi. Adorable. And if we go over here, here's Nathan Drake over by Golden Abyss. Don't think we have any Xbox ones. I missed some more over here though, so we're gonna loop around. Here's Zelda, next to Zelda. There's these little guys up here. More little guys. We got plenty of plushies in. So if you guys are plushie fans, go uh, go look for them in the store. So we got the soldering station all working. Look at all the batteries that have been replaced. Good job, Hiroshi. Oh, thank you. Here's Place. the whole new stack of stuff that needs batteries replaced. So here's the, here. the new work to do. There's so much. <laughs> but he got a lot done. You got like probably a stack, like two, equivalent of like two of these stacks done in like an hour. I try to be fast. So good. Very cool. Look at this this cute little workstation over here. We got something incredibly cool traded in. We got a ton of these Japanese Pokemon plushies. We got Flareon. We got this Lucario. He's winking and holding a little berry. And he's in like a sitting pose. Ouch! We got the God Llama Arceus from Diamond and Pearl. We got Eevee holding an adorable little berry. These are all like pretty good size too. We got Slowpoke. We got this little baby Charmander. Show you his face. Aww. Look at him! He looks so motivated. Then we got Charmander. His neck is kind of floopy. He's also winking. We got an even more floopy Charizard. I think I called him Charmander. Ooh. Yeah, definitely Char Charizard. Got this adorable little squirtle. Dragonite. This super, super plush and fluffy little Torchic. And then we got big summer vibes Pikachu with the little sunglasses. This is a huge one. Probably the biggest one so far. We got this silly little Torchic who's winking. This Pikachu. This Pikachu is even smaller. And I think... That's all the new ones. Got one more. Grookey! We also got this box of plushies. We got Ampharos eating a berry. It's got the little monch face. We got this big old Dratini. I don't know if this is like in scale, but it's probably like close to being in scale. Mm. We got this really large Pichu. Freaking huge. Does it have its... Got like a little tag on it with a heart. I don't know what line it's from, but yeah, it's cool. You could probably hang it up too. We got Mew, those little feet. And it's also in a sitting pose and winking. I don't know what Pokemon line this is, but a lot of them appear to be sitting and winking. This one also has a hang tab. I think this is Ursaring. It's got the little. No, Teddy. Is it Teddy Ursa? Ursa Ring's the big, the big one. one. Okay. And then to finish it off, we got Celebi, which is another very cool one. I uh, brought some pickups that I've just accumulated maybe over the past month or two. Nothing too crazy, just a lot more bigger box stuff, as you'll see. But just starting off with this, this Fighting Stick Mini. Uh, shout outs to Jorge for getting this for me. He uh, kind of gave this as a gift, so I really do appreciate that. Um, on to just the regular games. I did pick this up when it released. We love Katamari. Uh, love the Katamari series, so this for me was just a no-brainer. And I played this pretty much the day I got this, and I've been enjoying it ever since. Uh, Target was doing some deals, awesome games. Picked this up for pretty cheap, so I didn't have this yet, so I was like, might as well pick it up. I was out on the East Coast, and I was within the Washington, D.C. area and Virginia area, and I was so happy to be in a retro game store location out in Virginia called Super Bit Video Games. If you're out in that area, check them out. I uh, picked up some stuff from them, uh, mostly PSP, 
because I don't really have a lot of PSP games, but I thought to pick some up. So I have the King of Fighters PSP collection, uh, SNK Arcade Classics 1, and uh, Samurai Showdown Anthology. And uh, like I said, I don't have many, and I didn't have like any fighting games for the PSP. So I was like, you know what? We never really get to see PSP games here like complete in box like that, so might as well pick it up. And then I just ran into a GameStop and picked this up, the Deal Field Chronicle. I've been looking for this, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'll just buy it. And so for bigger box stuff, which I'm really excited about, um, picked this one up, this really beautiful big box of Rain Code. Um, it's out. I would definitely check it out if you were really into the Dong and Rompa series because this is made by the same exact guy who did it. Uh, I'm excited to check it out. It's kind of a really cool twist with the whole detective narrative instead of the whole, you know, uh, Hunger Games, like, you know, Battle Royale, Dong and Rompa thing. So, kind of glad I'm going to check this out for sure. I'm going to definitely open it. I just kind of left it sealed. Um, and this came into the mail uh, recently, and I'm super excited to get it because uh, it was really hard to get. Uh, Trails into Reverie, Reverie, however you say it. Um, this is the third in the trilogy for the Trails into series of this latest release. Uh, it's really good. I need to start. I need to start playing. I have, a, I have a bunch of friends who are into it, and I need to start getting into it. But this, since this is the third one in the series, I'm super excited to have all three. So I have the Azure and the Zero. So kind of see if I can line them all up with my hands here, but it's just. Cool, cool to have all three, um, you know, just to have in the collection. And I think they're releasing one later this year. It's a spinoff, but for the big trilogy, the big three, I'm excited to have them all. So, real cool. We got WarioWare Inc. Mega Party Games, Duke Nukem on Game Boy Color. We got a Sanrio collab pack. We got this really cool GB operator. We got the Game & Watch color screen Mario Bros. 1, and we got this really cool Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion strategy guide. Does not have the poster. We got some more fire trades over here. We got Dragon Quest 4 on the DS. Sorry, can't do numbers. Numbers are hard. We got Metroid Prime, or sorry, Super Metroid complete in box. We got Yoshi's Island complete in box. Box are a little beat up. We got the Super Game Boy complete in box. Ah! Oh! Oh, there's Metroid on it! Ooh, we got XD, Gale of Darkness, Donkey Konga, Harvest Moon. You guys are also gonna love, love, love these guys. But look at all of these adorable little... Oh, shoot. If I can get them without dropping them. Poyos. It's that one. It's running. A lot of them still have their tag. Here's him doing a little wave. I think this is like the Kirby History plush series or something like that. This one. I don't know. Does it say fan? Maybe just like Kirby fan. Got this one. It's like a pastel pink. We got ball Kirby. A ball tag. We got this little floofster. We got this guy riding on a star. We got him looking a little bit surprised. We got this one running away to evade taxes. got this one surprised that that other one evaded taxes. We got this one in love with you, the viewer. Got another ball. And another one of those. I love this one so much. This is like classic Kirby. It's little like whiskers. Adorable. This one is also one of my faves. Jester Kirby. Adorable. We got Maximum Tomato Kirby with the tag. Him running and waving to the crowds because he's famous and everybody loves him because Kirby. This one has a special feature. It's not a Kirby. It's a coin pouch Kirby. Oh no. Adorable. We got a second Tomato Boy. I almost tipped over the box. This guy. There he is. He's on his cute little star. What kind of burrito did you get? Super burrito with uh, carnitas. Nice. Yeah. Enjoy your lunch. I just played Professor Lee in 
uh, Curious Village and Professor Lee in Diabolical Box, and I just finished Diabolical Box today on my shift, don't tell anyone, especially not Marvel. Um, Diabolical Box, so good, just so good. I almost cried, I literally almost cried, but I didn't because I'm in public. Um, I'm not gonna divulge too much, but Professor Layton is literally an incredible puzzle game, like mixed with uh, an actual mystery, like I'm the type of person who is just trying to figure out everything all the time and I just, you can't even figure it out until the very end of the game, it's so good. It's so good! So, yeah, that's all. Alright, so Hiroshi, what are we doing? We're gonna do a battery swap on this uh, copy of Kirby 2. So Kirby needs a battery to save, this is a Japanese copy, and we make sure we replace our batteries before we put them out, so we're gonna show you how we do it. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Put the screw on the back. Oh yeah. So we didn't get many trades today, but we did get Crash Team Rumble, Overcooked, Pathless, which I've heard this game is pretty good. It's also an Annapurna game. Dead Cells, which just got Castlevania DLC, uh, Resident Evil Raccoon City. Cannon Dancer, and then uh, this is the one that I want to show you out of this little lot. But this is a Dreamcast collection for 360, which is pretty cool. Nice. Judy, what'd you get? I got Pokemon Go Plus. <gasps> is that the one with sleep? I'm gonna sleep so hard. I'm gonna sleep so good. Mm -hmm. Listen to the sweet, sweet angel voice that is Pikachu <laughs> yelling at you to wake up in the morning. I can't wait. So exciting. Yeah. We're gonna. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, we're gonna unbox it for you. All right, you can go ahead. Do you want me to narrate, or are you going to be like, you can put, put like cute, cute you can, sounds over it? You can narrate if you want. Um, we'll just we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Well, this is snug. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at the Pikachu sleeping! We haven't even opened it properly yet. Oh, that's cute. Cute. Hey, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Um. You gotta wear it as a belt buckle. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? What are you? What you is are... Is it a strap? You are a... So you can carry it? Oh, and a clip. With a magnet? So Dang. I guess I can... Are you like clip it to your pants maybe? Yeah, maybe. And then this is... Looks like a charging cable. USB-C. Um, and then here we have... Oh, it's like really. <laughs> this is oh very particular packaging. It's oh. kind of neat. Wait, yeah, I yeah. kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. See, it's like so it's, it keeps it snug real in snug. there. But then yeah. if you turn it and you flip the little yeah, thing, see, it's even like bobs. yeah. And then it should just come and out. And then it slides out. Yeah. So it's like tensioned in. Oh, oh, that's kind of—it's like hugging it. That's great. Wow, I like that. I like yeah. that better than like tape. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. It's glowing. Okay, now right. how do I set it up? Blue when it's, it's recording. Blue a when there's a Pokestop. Yeah. We're gonna try to catch or spin the Pokestop. Okay, so um, here if I do that, will it? Oh? Oh? Did it spin it? No, I think it's supposed to do it automatically. Darn. No. Who's the gym leader of this gym? Oh, Pokestop in range. Okay. So now do I, do I smack it? Yeah. Spin. 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 Oh. Spin. Come on. Oh. It sounds like Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> 